Hello friends, this is Durga from ITVersity. I run this YouTube channel called ITVersity. Uh, it has around 320 videos, 1800 plus subscribers and uh, the channel is growing not only from subscriber perspective but also from the content perspective. I typically upload content in, in the form of uh, uh, small videos and those uh, small videos that are related to a particular topic. Uh, and and uh, all these uh, uh, videos that are related to a particular topic will be created as a playlist. And we have many playlists. You can go to my channel and click on playlists and you can see almost uh, 30 playlists covering vast area of topics. Starting from um, uh, Hadoop administration using Cloudera, Hadoop administration using Hortonworks, Hadoop developer, um, the complete MapReduce uh, APIs getting started uh, with Hadoop development, Oracle Cloud, and many more. As part of that, uh, in this uh, 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 channel, I am kickstarting another playlist about uh, Apache, uh, sorry, Amazon Elastic MapReduce. So this is the introduction video for the playlist, uh, Amazon El Elastic MapReduce. Uh, it is, uh, uh, significantly different from the other Hadoop clusters. Amazon Elastic MapReduce is also a Hadoop cluster. Uh, it's a cloud-based Hadoop cluster provided by Amazon Web Services uh, as a platform as a service uh, where you can, uh, you need not worry about provisioning the servers, setting up Hadoop and all those things. Everything is out of the box. Whereas in Cloudera or Hortonworks, it is different. You have to um, get the servers either on the in-house data center or on the cloud and then set up uh, the binaries of um, uh, Hadoop as well as the, their management tools like Cloudera or Ambari and then uh, uh, you will uh, start using the cluster. It will take a uh, uh, couple of days to a couple of weeks to set up the cluster when it comes to Cloudera or Hortonworks. Whereas Amazon EMR, it's just few clicks uh, aware, but there are certain subtle differences which you need to be aware, uh, aware of and all those things will be covered as part of the playlist. But as part of this introduction video, I will just cover uh, what it needs to be required to start and then as part of the next video, I will start uh, comparing, uh, uh, I, I will start briefly about Amazon EMR and then I will compare the Amazon EMR with uh, the other distributions. So to, uh, to follow this playlist and uh, set up the cluster, um, you can, uh, uh, you need to sign in, uh, you need to have AWS account, you need to sign into the account. If you are completely new to AWS, there is a playlist on my channel which, which covers Amazon Web Services in detail. There are 18 videos in that. It starts from um, signing up to the account uh, and understanding all the key concepts of uh, uh, AWS and also it covers how to connect to the instances on AWS in detail every um, and uh, um, also it covers um, uh, some important concepts like bastion servers, web console, uh, command line interface tools, all those things. So you can go through this video to, to this uh, through, uh, through this you can go through this playlist to understand about AWS in detail. But in this play, uh, in the current playlist, which I ha which I'm kickstarting today, uh, it will be primarily on Amazon Elastic MapReduce. So to follow this playlist, first you need to have the account at the least, and then you need to have some understanding about the AWS concepts, uh, and then you can start exploring this. I will uh, try to cover um, how to architecture briefly uh, uh, from the point of uh, differences between AWS and uh, AWS EMR and Cloudera or Hortonworks distributions. So let me go ahead and uh, uh, log into the aws.amazon.com console. So the, uh, this will be the interface which you will be seeing once you type aws.amazon.com and then you can click on sign into the console. And then it will ask you the username and password. So you have to use the, whatever username and password you have used to sign up. Um, and then click on 
using our uh, click on the sign in button and you will come to this page where it will uh, highlight all the uh, services that are provided as part of amazon web services uh, ecosystem so there are many ecosystems so first one is compute where you actually pro uh, where you can actually provision um, uh, uh, virtual servers called ec2 instances and then uh, there is a storage so the storage is also covered uh, in detail on amazon web services uh, playlist and then there is database i have partly covered so far uh, on dynamodb when it comes to uh, database server and for networking there is a networking service uh, etc so for uh, different types of categories there are different types of services when it comes to hadoop um, uh, it uh, it is categorized under analytics so you can go to the analytics and you can see the emr service which is uh, nothing but a managed hadoop framework so you can click on this and when you started for uh, when you start for the first time it will take you to the getting started page uh, like this and if you want to explore more you can uh, explore all this uh, you can click on these links and uh, you can explore okay so uh, from uh, that's it for this video it's just introduction about uh, how to get to the uh, emr from the next video we will understand the architecture about emr uh, differences between uh, uh, the traditional uh, hadoop clusters like cloudera or hortonworks uh, based clusters or even apache uh, uh, plain vanilla hadoop clusters and then we will move forward and try to understand how we can actually set up um, the clusters effectively leveraging some of the key um, cloud based concepts that being said i hope you will enjoy the content on this playlist as well as on the channel on different topics if you like this video please click on the like button if you uh, want to provide feedback please use the comment section of the video and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content covering vast area of uh, information technology topics over time thank you bye